this is Anu and welcome back to my channel. Today I am here to share with you a really cool pillowcase tutorial that incorporates the cable stitch in crochet. I love the cable stitch in knitting, I think it's the coolest thing, but I always had a hard time finding one that I like for crochet and I finally did and I am so excited to share it with you today. So I will take you through the crochet cable stitch slowly but surely as usual and just for this tutorial today we are going to make a pillowcase which is really a big rectangle that that we're going to fold and sew the sides and then insert a 16 by 16 inches pillow. Here is the pillowcase that I created for you guys. Oh, I love it. I think I'm going to make a few of them. It is matching the color of my living room. And I used an amazing, super affordable uh, yarn that I absolutely love. It's the Lion Brand Scarfy yarn, which comes in an all array of color. I chose the beige one for um, this one, so the pillow would match my couch. Uh, but there are so many other colors. It's super affordable and you can find it easily at your local craft store here, Michael's, Joanne Fabric and AC Moore, I think carry it and you can find it on Amazon too. I will put all the information about what I use for this pillow in the info box down below as usual. It's a beautiful ombre effect too, which I love. I think that gives this uh, pillowcase a super modern and trendy touch. And the cables are always so cool in the winter. Look at these braids. They have such a classy, chic look that is always in fashion. I really, really, really love this. And I love the fact that this yarn has ombre color. I think that it is so, so, so cool. Look at this beautiful braid. Isn't that perfect? Absolutely love it. I can see many other things we could create together with this cable stitch. It is so soft and snuggly and um, yeah, absolutely love it. And I hope you will like it too. Yes, here you go. <laughs> if you are not subscribed to my channel, don't hesitate to do so. It is totally free. Hit the subscribe button right here and don't hesitate to click on the little bell. And if you do, you will get notified every time I post something new. I think I am back in the grind right now. I have so many ideas for future tutorials. I am so excited about 2018. I cannot wait uh, to continue this crochet journey with you all. Here is all my social media addresses. If you would like to hang out with me uh, somewhere else than YouTube, I think on Facebook, it's a little more personable and casual. Sometimes you will get a little preview before anybody else of what I am working on, which is really cool. And then we can discuss the process together. That is fun. And then there is another giveaway that is cooking. So stay posted, that will come really soon. So once you are comfortable with the cable stitch, I can see many other things that I could make with it. For example, a really nice tote bag or I could make a really nice oversized sweater or I could make crop sweater as well. I could make, what else could I make? Oh, I could make a hat, a winter hat with a pom-pom and some cables. So let me know what you would like me to do next in the comment box below. And that's about it. So if you are interested in knowing how to create this cable stitch crochet pillowcase, then keep on watching. And in the meantime, happy crochet. Bye. For this tutorial, you will need three skeins of Scarfy from the Lion Brand brand, and it is in the color Cream Taupe. It is a number five bulky yarn, and there is 150 gram per skein. You will also need a six millimeter crochet hook, a tapestry needle, and a pillow, 16 by 16 inches. Take your yarn and your crochet hook and make a slip knot. And you are going to proceed by chaining 50. Chain 
When you have 50 chains, add one and single crochet in the second chain from your hook and then you will single crochet all along your chain and that will be your first row. Single crochet all along, you will have 50 single crochet at the end of your first row. Once you reach the end of your first row, make a stitch in your last stitch. Chain one, turn your work around and for your second row you're going to make another row of single crochet all along the second row of your work. All right, and you are done with your second row. Here is the last stitch of your second row and you are going to chain one and turn your work around. Make a single crochet in the next two stitches. And what you're going to do now is making a double crochet in the next six stitches. Here you go, this is what your work will look like. And then you're going to continue making two single crochets and then six double crochets six more times. And that will bring you to the end of your row three. So the six double crochets are going to be what your cable will be and then the two single crochet will frame it on each side. And in total we are going to work on seven cables. So this is what your work will look like, two single crochet, six double crochet, seven times in total. And after the last six double crochets, you will end your third row by making two single crochets. Chain one, turn your work around and you are reaching your fourth row. All right, so you are going to make a single crochet in the next two stitches. All right, so now we are going to begin the cable pattern. Are you ready? Let's do this. All right, so remember those six double crochets that we had made in the previous row. You are going to skip the first two double crochets and we are going to work in the third one. But we are not going to go inside the stitch, we are going to crochet around the post, that double crochet, that third double crochet post from the previous row. We are going to make a front post treble crochet. So yarn over twice. Skip the first two double crochets, take your crochet hook from the front to the back around your post. Yarn over right back behind the post, yarn over and through two of the loops on your crochet hook, yarn over and through two more of the loops on your crochet hook and yarn over and through the two last loops on your crochet hook. And just like that you created your first front post treble crochet. We're going to go to the next double crochet from the previous row, that would be the fourth one, and we're going to repeat exactly the same steps. So yarn over twice, then take your crochet hook around the fourth post, from the front to the back, yarn over and back behind the post, yarn over through two of the loops, yarn over again through two of the loops, and yarn over through two of the last loops. And you just created two front post treble crochets. Now it is a little tricky because you're going to go back and work into the two double crochets from the previous row that you had skipped. But you're going to do it going behind the two front post treble crochet you just created. So you're going to yarn over twice and then you're going to look for the first of the double crochet you had skipped and you're going to work around that first one. But you're going to do that behind the two front post treble crochet that you just made. 
not in the front but behind. From behind you go and find that first post and you pass your crochet hook from the front to the back like we did before. Remember you're working on the first double crochet you had skipped. Yarn over and right back and then yarn over through two of the loops and again yarn over through two of the loops and yarn over through the two last loops. All right, and you're going to repeat that for the second double crochet that we had skipped. Still working behind from the back of the two first front post treble crochet we had made, so yarn over twice. And you're going to repeat to the second double crochet we had missed, front to the back, around the post, yarn over and right back behind the post up and then yarn over through two of the loops and yarn over through two of the loops again and yarn over so you crisscrossed your front post treble crochet just making them behind each other and then now you're going to yarn over and you're going to do front post double crochet in the fifth double crochet from the previous row and you're going to do a front post double crochet and for the front post double crochet you're going to go around the post from the front to the back but you're going to yarn over only once and then go from the front to the back of the post around the post yarn over back and then yarn over through two loops and yarn over through the two last loops and repeat to the last double crochet from the previous row, the sixth one, yarn over and go to the post from the front to the back, yarn over and right back and then yarn over through two loops and yarn over and through the two last loops. Okay, so that is the beginning of your first cable. You will have seven cables in total for this pillowcase. Now in the next two stitches you are going to make a single crochet in each and every one of the two single crochets from the previous row. And you're going to make another braid repeating exactly the same steps. So you're going to skip the two first double crochets from the previous row and you're going to make a front post treble crochet in the third double crochet from the previous row. Yarn over twice, front to back around the post, yarn over back, yarn over through both of the loops, so yarn over to both of the loops and again and voila your second front post treble crochet in the fourth double crochet from the previous row. And then you're going to go back to the first double crochet from the previous row and you're going to do your front post treble crochet coming from behind the two one you just created now. In the first double crochet from the previous row. And again, now in the second double crochet from the previous row, still coming from behind, doing another front post treble crochet.
and then you're going to skip the two first front post treble crochet and do two front post double crochet in the last two double crochets from the previous row. And you're going to repeat that, two single crochets and then the same thing with the front post troubles, etc. until you reach the end of your fourth row. And this is what your work will look like. And I will meet you at the end of your fourth row. You will end your fourth row with two single crochets. and you will chain one and turn your work around. And for your fifth row, you will make one single crochet in each of the stitches as they present themselves to you. So a single crochet on top of the two single crochets from the previous row, and then a single crochet on top of all the six stitches from the previous row, the front post trebles and the front post double crochets all along your fifth row. At the end of your fifth row you will have 50 single crochets in total. That is what your work looks like from the back and that is from the front. And I will meet you at the end of your fifth row. Here we are at the end of your fifth row. I am finishing with the last single crochets and then I am chaining one and turning my work around and we are ready for the sixth row. The sixth row is the continuation of your cable and it's going to be a little different. You're going to make a single crochet in the first two stitches. That will be the same throughout. The first two stitches of every even row number will be two single crochets. So the way this cable works is that you do one row of um, twisting your cables and you do a row of single crochet and then the next row is also a row of twisting cables but a little bit in a different way and you repeat those four rows over and over and over again. So we did the first and the second row of the cable and now we're going to learn how to do that third row of the cable. All right so what you're going to do is you're going to see the cable in front of you, you single crochet your first single crochets, two single crochet to begin your row and then the two front post treble crochets from not the single crochet row but the cable row we made a front post treble crochet and you're going to work around that post, that front post treble crochet that we had created and you're going to actually in this post make a front post double crochet. Again going from the front to the back in the first two front post treble crochet from the previous row. Then what you're going to do is skip the two middle stitches right there, the two stitches there and you're going to go to the two next one and what you're going to do in the two next one is again a front post treble crochet this time. Again going from the front to the back but yarning over twice around the post, yarn over and back, yarn over through two loops and again yarn over through two loops and yarn over through the last two loops and repeat another front post treble crochet around the next post from the previous rows. So remember you worked in the two first posts and the two last posts. Now you have the two middle posts left and this time you're going to do front post treble crochets in those two middle stitches you had left and you're not going to go behind, you're going to go in the front of the two last one you just created. So no need to work in the back this time, you're going to yarn over twice, you're going to go in the first of the two you had skipped, so the third stitch there, and you're going to do a front post treble, and then in the second one that you had skipped, you're going to do, still from the front, another front post treble. 
and that is what is going to create your braid. All right, so you are done. Now you're going to again do a single crochet in the two single crochets from the previous row, from your row five. And you're going to repeat. So again, a front post double crochet in the first two stitches that present themselves to you from the previous row, in the first two posts, around the first two posts that present themselves to you right there. And then you are going to skip the two middle ones and in the two last one, you around the post again, always around the post when you're making the braid, you're going to make a front post treble crochet around the post from the previous row. Front post treble. And another front post treble in the next post from the previous row, the sixth post. Now you skipped the two middle ones and in those two middle ones, beginning from the third stitch, you're going to make a front post treble but going in the front of the two front post treble you just made. Not through the back, but through the front. Yarn over twice, going around that third post. And make a front post treble crochet. And now in the fourth stitch, the second one you had skipped, you're going to make another front post treble crochet. All right, you're done with your second braid. And now you're going to make a single crochet in the next two single crochets from the previous row. And you're going to continue like that, making your front post doubles, front post trebles, until the end of this row. And I will meet you at the end of this row. And for the end of this row, you're going to finish with two single crochets. Every braid row begins and ends with two single crochets. And then you're going to chain and turn your work around. And for the next row, you're going to make one single crochet in each stitch, presenting themselves to you. At the end of this row, you will have 50 stitches in total. 50 single crochets in total. All right, you're done with your single crochet row. So in between, every time you make the front post double crochets, the treble front post treble crochets, in between the row that you make a braid, there will always be a row of single crochet. All right, chain, turn your work around, and we're going to repeat the braid the way we did it at row four. So the way you know what to do is you see those two middle stitches? If they come towards you, towards the right, slanting towards the right, that means that it's time to skip the two first posts and to make a treble crochet into the two middle posts. If it's slanted to the other way, if it's slanted to the left, that means that you are on the row where you begin to do a front post double crochet in the first two posts that are presenting themselves to you, the first two posts of the six. But now, since those two middle stitches are coming diagonally towards the right, towards you, that means that you are going to make the braid by skipping the two first posts, making a front post treble in the third post from the beginning of your braid, the one that are in the middle, right there. So you skip the two first posts and you do a front post treble in the third one. and in the fourth one.
And once you're done with those two front post treble, you're going to go back to the first two posts you had skipped and you're going to make front post treble in it, but not coming from the front, coming from the back of those two front post treble you just made. That is what is a little tricky, but you can do it. Up from the back, going to the first post, from the front to the back around it, and making your treble. And repeating it in the second post you had skipped. Making a front post treble in that second post. Coming from the back. And then in the two last stitches from your braid, you're going to make a front post double crochet around each of those two posts. One and two. Voila! Look how nicely the braid is forming. And then now you're going to make a single crochet in the next two single crochets from the previous row. And you're going to repeat. Repeating with your braid. Look at the middle stitches of your next braid and you can see that they are slanting towards you. That means that it is the row where you skipped two front posts and make a front post treble in the third. Repeating the steps. Second front post treble. Going back to the first two one you skipped but working from the back and so on and so forth. And you are going to repeat rows four, five, six and seven over and over and over again until you have the length that will go around your pillow. And for us, it is row number 104. And this is what your work will look like, so pretty. And as usual, when you do a braid row, you're going to end with two single crochets. And you're going to chain one and turn your work around. Since you just made a braid and you're in the back of your work, every time you're in the back of your work, you are making a row of single crochet all along. 50 single crochets in total, and I will meet you at the end of this row. This is what your work will look like. I love this ombre color. And for your next set of braid, look at the two middle ones. They're slanting away from you. That means that you are going to work in the two first posts, making front post double crochet. Skip the two middle one and do your front post treble in the fifth and the sixth stitches. And then going back to the two stitches that you had skipped and from the front making two front post treble. And you are going to make two single crochets in the next two single crochets from the previous row and you're going to continue like that back and forth back and forth one row of braids, one row of single crochet and looking if the two middle ones are slanting towards you or away from you to know what kind of stitch to make first. And you're going to continue like that. I made 104 rows. I ended up with one row of single crochet all along and I ended up with a long rectangle that I can wrap easily around my pillowcase. It is so gorgeous. I love the ombre effect and those braids are just perfect. Just perfect. Here is the rectangle and up going around the pillow. And of course, you're going to assemble the sides together. We're going to assemble all along the three sides that are still open, folding the rectangle in half and creating a square. 
And to assemble, we are going to assemble the side with a slip stitch. We're going to do that on the wrong side. So put the wrong side facing you. You could very well do it with a um, tapestry needle if you are more comfortable with it and sewing the sides together. I am going to slip stitch my way around the sides of my work. I'm going to match stitch to stitch, pass my crochet hook through both of the stitches from both of the sides of my work and slip stitch one by one all along the side, making sure that the stitches match. And this is what the seam will look like from the wrong side of your work. And I'm reaching the corner here of my pillow. And I'm just going to slip stitch and I'm going to assemble the second side of my pillow. Continuing one slip stitch per row, matching row to row, side to side. And by the way, note to self, it's very hard to film on a sunny day. Way too much light here. All right, once you are done assembling the two sides, you have one more side left to assemble, but you're going to assemble it three quarter of the way. So you will leave a little hole to um, put your pillow inside your pillowcase. Before we assemble the third side of, of your pillowcase, we're going to take all the loose tails and sew them with your tapestry needle on the wrong side of your work. And then we're going to tackle the last side and you're going to assemble by slip stitching, leaving the quarter open. And then once you have reached almost the three quarter of the side, you're going to put it back to the right side since you are working with the wrong side of your work facing you. Oh, switch back to the right side, take your pillow and insert your pillow through that little left hole that you haven't finished assembled, that last side. And ta -da, look at that, oh, it's so cute. And then you're going to take your crochet hook and you're going to finish assembling that last part of the last side of your pillow, still by slip stitching. And you know, you're going to have tiny little seam, but you're not going to be seeing it. You could very well, if you're a good sewer, put a zipper on one side of your pillow, but I'm not a good sewer. All right, so I'm fastening off. I'm done sewing the last side of my pillow and shut the pillowcase off for good. And now I am sewing in the loose tail to the wrong side of my work and ta-da! We are done with our pillowcase for this beautiful cable stitch crochet ombre pillowcase. This is so nice and cozy, so perfect for the winter. I love it and I am sure I will make a few others to complete my collection. Voila, all done. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial as much as I have enjoyed creating it for you. I am looking forward to many more. And if you have enjoyed this crochet cable stitch and would like me to create more things and objects and closing with it, then let me know. Voila. And in the meantime, happy crochet for now and see you next time. Bye, love you. So I love the knitting, the... In, and it, ah. I used a... Oh my God, my microphone. It is the Scarfy yarn and I do not know by who it is made. Hold on one second. You can find it at your local craft school. Voila. Ah. 2019. Here is all my social media if you... Media, media, social media. Oui, my leg is itchy. And if you come and visit me on Facetube, on Facetube, Facetube is the baby between YouTube and Facebook. Facetube, genius, who knew? Who would have thunk?
ce que je voulais dire maintenant. J'ai tout à fait oublié. Non, mais vraiment, quoi De quoi je parlais Yes Je te braided. Um, the braided. The. the if. <rire> ah What 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 